So what if you could make videos without ever showing your face? And what if this video, the video you're watching right now, wasn't just another YouTube tips video, but actually was the story of someone who's done that and has created a highly successful YouTube channel. In fact, what if that individual grew their channel to over 100,000 YouTube subscribers? And even better, what if that individual made life-changing income from YouTube? Like quit your job and buy a new car by simply making videos that you publish to your YouTube channel. In this video, I introduce you to Leroy Dixon, who's done all of those things and so much more. You don't need any of these things. That's the fancy camera, the fancy lighting. You don't need to spend a boatload of money to get started. Now what you do need are some images and some stock footage that you can source for free on the web to get started. And that's exactly what Leroy did back in the day. Now Leroy's channel, it's about animals and that's why you'll often see him asking for clips from some of his friends like he posted here about sourcing clips on rat terriers, dogs. Now Leroy shared some really juicy information to the tube ritual community and I want to break down what he shared for you today. And Leroy mentioned this, I started the channel with my phone as the recorder. I just downloaded a voice recorder app and I started talking. And Leroy, he got started in December of 2016 just two days before Christmas. And Leroy mentions, I got a phone call from my boss and I had been let go. I could expect my final paycheck in about two weeks. Even though I needed it like now, in a way I welcomed the notice because I was not happy at all with the job. It was stressful and most of all, it felt unfulfilling. You know what, in just minutes, you're gonna hear about the crazy kind of money that Leroy makes today with his channel. However, can you imagine losing your job, having a family to provide for? Let's jump in and see what comes next. Now, I had been toying with a few YouTube channels. I had one, maybe two videos up, but it was far away from making any actual money and I needed to support my family. I was determined to make it work though. I wanted happiness, I wanted freedom. I had three concept channels up, all based on researching ad markets, but I chose to focus on the one that interested me the most. Couple of things that are really important here. Number one, he was determined to make it work. Number two, he did the research, he studied, he analyzed. He had two or three different channels that he could go with and he chose one that made sense to him. Number one, he was really passionate about the subject. He was like, I, I went with the one that made the most sense to me. That's so important. It's far better to target something you're interested in rather than solely looking on the income potential alone. 2017 was an experimental year, not only for me, but for my channel and my lifestyle. I quickly got to work making content, sometimes twice a week, sometimes daily. Some content did well, some not so much, but I kept track of the videos that did better than others and I watched channels like Brian G. Johnson. And you know what? The more you study success, watch these kinds of videos, the more likely you can create success for your own channel. Leroy mentions it was a tough year financially. It took all of my savings, working a side gig, and even selling plasma to get through. But by 2018, I was seeing regular Lifeline bank deposits from Google and Amazon. You know what, for most creators, early days are hard, but you gotta keep going. Now what Leroy shares next is the foundation of his success. Listen. Through 2016, I learned to target keyword phrases. As a matter of fact, a video I did that year, 10 Small Dog Breeds That Don't Shed, is still my top performer, consistently pulling in between 5,000 and 10,000 views per day. And this is that video right here, over 2 million views. How did he make it happen? He explains it exactly. Why does it perform so well? It's simple. It targets a very specific yet often searched search term, which I've incorporated directly into the title. And then Leroy goes on to mention that this is a formula he's used again and again, and it's one that I really recommend everybody uses 
especially starting out. The title formula is simple. You identify a search term and you incorporate the search term into your video title. Done. For example, if I wanted to make videos about small dog breeds, I would go to YouTube and then I would type in small dog breeds A, small dog breeds B, and then small dog breeds C. Doing this with any search term will really allow me to see what the audience is searching for. Now, as I was typing this out, I saw this keyword phrase here, small dog aggression. Here's a huge tip. You really want to target search terms where you know specifically what the viewer wants because it's so much easier for you to make a video they're going to really enjoy and watch longer, which will increase your watch time. And as you know, that's very important here on YouTube. Now, the next step I would do is to leverage the power of TubeBuddy and I would search for small dog aggression. And then I can really start identifying how competitive the search term is. Notice all these different search terms that all include small dog aggression. Small dog aggression towards other dogs, two dogs, training, etc. And then as I was researching, I came across this phrase, small dog aggressive behavior, and noticed a grading in TubeBuddy, 62 out of 100. And what really matters is these grades here the search volume, the competition, and the optimization strength. You really don't want to choose a keyword unless the optimization strength is at least good. Here, it's excellent. Now, if you're not using TubeBuddy, check out the link in the description to download and install the plugin. It'll help you grow your channel. And then Leroy mentions this. In 2018, I focused more on the presentation of the content. One of the things to think about is that is what matters. The keywords help kind of tell YouTube where you want the video to go, what kind of viewers you want to reach, and then how well the video does with the analytics. In other words, how much it connects with viewers will determine the success, the views, etc. He mentions, I continued to improve my script reading style, changed the format of my videos, and introduced a new series. Each of the series has a different style. For example, I have a dog versus dog series that I developed in 2018 that does quite well. I have to admit, I came up with the idea after binge watching epic rap battles in history. You know what? I love that Leroy took some ideas from epic rap battles because they're highly successful. The more you study successful channels yourself, the more likely it'll lead you down a path of success. Now we're going to get into 2019. And before we do, I just want to remind you where Leroy began by selling plasma barely scraping by, but he believed in his vision and he kept going. As 2019 rolled around, 100% of my modest yet growing income was directly from my YouTube channel. With two years of data in hand, I was able to focus more on what was bringing viewers to my channel. I made some tweaks to my presentation and editing style, but overall my formulas were sound and locked in. And then listen to this part here. The focus was more on my audience than simply targeting search terms. It's really powerful to target those search terms. If you don't, it's going to be harder to grow. But what matters more is the viewers, the audience you want to get in front of. By Christmas, my income was nearly double to the job I had been let loose from merely three years ago. Double. Consistency and perseverance had paid off. 2019 was the year that I said I was full time and I actually backed it up with my checking account. I started 2020 with over 100,000 YouTube subscribers and doing over 1 million views per month. It gave me a bit of financial support to hire a writer to both ease the demands on my time, but also allowing me to focus more on logistics of growing a successful YouTube channel. Over time, it gets easier as long as you keep going. Focus on what matters and you'll do exceptionally well, just like Leroy. 2020 has been less predictable for so many around the world. Mass closures and layoffs have sent people home without an income. 
Despite all of this, my channel has continued to grow, surpassing 120,000 subscribers and hitting 1.6 million views per month as I write this. Now, when it comes to these kind of videos, the thing to think about is your voiceover. That's the audio track that viewers listen to as they're watching. Job well done, Leroy. And Leroy records his own. In fact, this is another picture he sent me. You wanna strive to make a quality voiceover or voice recording. But remember, Leroy also began his journey by recording straight into his phone. Use what you got, start where you're at, and keep moving forward. Now, this is Leroy's channel, Animal Facts. And as you can see, he's done a really great job in publishing videos that an audience responds to. Now do this, this video on the screen now will help you drive more views, we'll share some insights in order to make that happen. Click and watch that video now. Do that and you'll feed a poodle. I've got two poodles and they're hungry. You dig?